Hey guys, Jason here. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a show that I've been a fan of for quite some time now. Um, the show I'm talking about, of course, is called Rakai. I'm going to do something a little different than I've done before on these sort of videos. I'm going to give my general thoughts in this video, and then I'm going to do a, a series of videos breaking down my thoughts uh, season to season. And with the new season coming out in a couple weeks, I think uh, now's the perfect time for me to do something like this. So uh, look out for those other videos. But for right now, I'm just going to kind of give my general thoughts, what I like about the show, what got me into the show, and so on and so forth. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, Cobra Kai is the direct continuation of the original Karate Kid films. I'm talking the Karate Kid, Karate Kid Part 2, and Karate Kid Part 3. Um, now, whether the next Karate Kid fits into this show somehow is yet to be determined because it is sort of a, it's, it's a sort of sequel to those movies. Um, I mean, we'll see. So, but as of right now, the series draws heavily from those first three films. So before diving into those, this series, I would definitely strongly suggest giving those movies a watch again, if not for the fact that they are just really good movies, but also it'll definitely help when things come along in the series that relate to those films which is a lot because again this is a direct continuation of those films um what drew me to the series initially because originally the series was on youtube um they were trying to develop some original content so they had this sort of sub thing called youtube red where you would pay a subscription price and then they would have original content plus also extra perks for those who um paid the extra subscription um that is known now as youtube premium um when they announced the series back in 2018 I thought it was a pretty interesting concept. The idea that instead of following the original protagonist from the Karate Kid films, Daniel LaRusso, we're actually getting um, our window into this world through the eyes of Johnny Lawrence, the original film's fan antagonist. Um, and it kind of paints him, it paints him in sort of a sympathetic light. Uh, and I thought that was a very interesting concept, a very interesting idea. And it just adds a little bit more to the character of Johnny Lawrence and to the character of Daniel LaRusso. And then it introduces, you know, their kids and all the, and then it kind of kicks up the, the old rivalry that the two of them had way back in the day. And that kind of bleeds into their kids you know and they start their own rivalries and it's just this you know it's very shakespearean and that was what was interesting i i really when i was first when i first heard about the show i was drawn to it just because it was a a direct continuation of the karate kid and i thought that was cool karate kid was one of my favorite movies growing up um i love the first one i like i love the second one i even like the third one not many people really uh, take to the third one, but I really enjoyed the third movie. I thought it was, I thought it was, uh, I thought it was a lot of fun. I thought it was an interesting, uh, concept. Um, and you just, it being a continuation of the karate kid, I'm always a sucker for sequels. So, um, um, it was, it was, it was a big part of my childhood. So when this show came along on YouTube, I was in, I, you know, I was like, I'll do it. I'll, I'll do whatever I have to, to watch the show. And when I watched it, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, I tried to pace myself. I was like, give it you know, an episode, two episodes a day, stretch it out for a bit, you know, maybe, f you know, a couple days. I think I got about episode three or four of that first season. And then I just couldn't stop. And I finished the rest of the season in a day. That's just how good the show is. That's a testament to the writing, to the action, to the drama, to the performances. I mean, uh, William Zabka and uh, 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 Ralph Macchio, who are the two primary leads of the series, um, really, really re-embody those characters again. And um, even William Zabka brings a, a, a sort of a nuance to the character of Johnny Lawrence that wasn't there before, because in the original film, he was kind of a, he was kind of a one-dimensional villain. And um, 
in this series, he's very multifaceted. He has his own kind of wants and desires and motivations, and you really start to sympathize with him. And again, that's what I liked about the series is that because he's the, you know, he's the main character of the show, um, you're really rooting for him, even though there are times where you're really frustrated and angry with him for doing stupid stuff. Same thing with Daniel LaRusso. I mean, you remember him from the Karate Kid movies and you were rooting for him and you were cheering for him, but he does things in this show that kind of are very infuriating and you're just like, what are you doing? Stop, you know, and you get a lot of that back and forth with these characters. And it's just, again, it's a testament to the writing, to the performances and, um, everything that goes into the show um they did a second season on youtube and i was i was on board for that um but after green lighting a third season youtube decided to do um put an end to scripted content so they w weren't going to show cobra kai season three on youtube so the creators had to shop it around yet again um because that's you know that's what you do with a show and they actually went to netflix which was interesting because according to them netflix passed on it the first time um and since then it's become a global phenomenon so i only tell you that story to tell you that i know how sh good this show is because i've been a fan since day one i i was in i was in i was in from the first trailer I was in for the first season, second season, third season, and with a fifth season coming up, I am I am just absolutely excited. It is getting so much bigger. It is getting so much better, and um, I'll go into specifics when I talk about each season. But I really just kind of wanted to give my general thoughts on the series and just just share my enthusiasm and my love for Cobra Kai. So. Um, Look out for those individual season uh, videos coming very soon. Um, let me know what you think of Cobra Kai down in the comments. Uh, I always look forward to hearing from you guys. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching, as always. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.